We're here with the Delta, and uh, who are you? My name is Jörg. I'm actually German. I'm living in Denmark for a couple of years, more than 15 years actually. And we are doing uh, microelectronics and testing and uh, any kind of uh, technology development from optics to acoustics to uh, EMC uh, to you, you name it. So let's uh, see what you have here. Yeah, so, what have. so what are you showing here, the ID Tech Hack Show? So what we have here now for this uh, IoT uh, conference, yeah. we have a, a chip, a little ASIC, it's called Application Specific Integrated Circuit, ASIC. Okay. And this is uh, for customers uh, who are interested in integrating electronics from like many, many discrete components, components shrinking it down to only uh, one single chip. And this is what we did here for uh, an NFC application, that is near field communication. That means you can use this chip uh, to connect external sensors, digital sensors, analog sensors or whatever kind of sensors to connect these sensors to a smartphone. That means you can have an app on the smartphone uh, that can connect to uh, that can connect to the chip via an app and then you can go into the locking setup where you can choose for instance the uh, locking intervals from one second, one minute, uh, maybe I can help you there a little yeah. bit. And you can choose whether you want to measure temperature or you have an external sensor and then you can choose whether you want to have a battery or not. Then you can start locking and uh, then you have to delete some data. And using this chip you can, for instance, make a temperature locker, which uh, this company has done here. Uh, that you can stick on a package, uh, then you can start the locking of the temperature, you send the package away to Africa or wherever, you, and yeah. when it comes back, or when it comes to the recipient, uh, the other guy can use another app and read out this uh, sensor, and then he knows whether the package has been exposed to high temperature, low temperatures, or exceeded a specific limit of temperatures. So here's uh, rigid, but you are you making the same thing here? Yes, if you want to make it thinner or flexible, yeah. This is our demonstrator. Uh, customers yeah. buy this board in order to connect sensors, in order to play around, uh, put software on it and test the application. It's and a development kit? This is a development kit, exactly. And you this can is order the final? From us. Well, if you want it, this is the final. You can also change the size of the coil or whatever you want. But this is, this is then the, the cheap and flexible version. Here you can see our chip and then you have some passive components to it and the connector for the, for the battery. And so then you can put this into some packaging, plastic, still flexible. You can put some glue on the back side so you can actually stick uh, this batch to the package. And then you send it off and it's a disposable so you can uh, throw it away if you want. Is it safe to disposable? Safe in what sense? Like what's the battery and it's going to be well, okay to you, throw you it can, out? You can, you can reuse it for like a year uh, at least. A year? A year, yeah. What's the battery? The battery is a little coin cell. It's just a little uh, like like this one here, but thinner. All right. So it's it's, it's a so yeah, it's a nice. So you have a chip here. You did you glue it on or? Well, in this case, actually, this is actually glued, uh, but it's a conductive glue. So that means you have particles in the glue that are conductive, and if you compress the glue, there where you have uh, little dots on the chip, you can get a connection to the to the substrate, and there where you get the electronic connection without a. Uh, without any soldering and stuff like that. So you're talking about an ASIC chip. Is that the center of your technology? It is. ASIC means ASIC, Application Specific Integrated Circuit. So it's not an ARM processor? Well, you can put an ARM processor into it. So this uh, this chip, for instance, has, a, has also a CPU in it. This is the chip. And this chip integrates everything that you need, actually, for NFC communication. You have the interface to the phone. You have the CPU, which is uh, an MSP. Uh, 430, an open MSP 430. Uh, you have a temperature sensor, you have uh, for the external sensors an uh, AD converter, you have a digital SPI interface, you have even uh, an encryption, you have also a very big memory to save the data. So you can read out the sensors, you can compute the data from the sensors, you can save the data and at the end you can transfer the data via NFC to a smartphone and thereby into the cloud to the rest of the world. So, uh, it sounds like an SOC, but it's not. It's not an SOC? SOC? Like a system on chip? It's well, uh, more simple uh, than that, or it's different than that? It's uh, a different application? It's, uh, it's, it's, you can use the chip and put it into a, a multi-chip uh, package, for instance. Then you have a system on a chip, yeah. But uh, 
well, in, in, in some cases we can say that it's a system on chip, yes, it has a temperature sensor, it has a CPU, everything is in one chip, yeah, it's a system on chip. <laughs> and, and your solutions go in many things around the world? Well, you can use this chip for, of course, reading out any kind of stuff. You can, uh, you can read out uh, the light conditions with the light sensor and then you can communicate this wireless to a central lighting station, so you adapt the lightning, you can read out are people there? Are people walking around? Are they passing by? Are they stopping by? So you can control whether people uh, are stopping by your shelves and are buying your product or not. Uh, you can uh, measure temperature and uh, adjust the temperature, of course, in-house. Um, applications are endless. Uh, are you shipping to millions of products? Well, we, we are shipping ASICs to millions of uh, customers, but those are all ASICs, as well, all uh, customer-specific ASICs uh, or ICs. That means uh, they go into specific applications and can only be used in this application. And not it's not like a consumer standard product. This chip that I just uh, presented, that is our first uh, standard product, so to say, which can be used in different applications.